Chokma, Jehofofo Dustin Alitawaki Maynard. I'm one of the artists and visual voices, and I wanted to kind of share my studio space with you to kind of get a better idea of the design process and kind of what I'm doing today and how it relates to the work of this tour. Um, if you will see in the first image, we have Tushka Luxi, a multimedia painting mixed of watercolors and acrylics on a decoupage of tribal newspapers representing the Southeastern Renaissance in the art world. All of my artwork is a refinement, but they all have the genus and start in my sketchbooks. I keep one by the bedside, I keep one in the car. From this refinement, I find the nuance and the small details to bring the characters to life. The techniques that I learned from Tushka Luxi is continued on in my newest series called Bird's Eye View. I start with canvases that I use acrylic paints and airbrush with to get the water effect. From there, I get the ledger paper, I draw out the boats and the different illustrations. And then from there, so here's an example of one of the illustrations that's kind of coming together. From there, I add watercolors onto ledger paper. Then I attach it to the canvas with the water painting beneath it to give this three-dimensional effect in a two-dimensional painting. In the next illustration from the sketchbook, you can kind of make out what's coming up next. I try to keep all of my concept designs kind of loose. I want to get the kinetic feel of the image, but I'm not married to the final design just yet. This is the final product of that design. You can kind of see the horned serpent chasing after its meal, the fish. Over here you can see the turtle. And then that continuation of mixed media materials, I drilled holes in every inch, perforating it and using sinew and sewing it with deer hide onto the other side. It transformed from being the flying serpent into the horn serpent. A sacred creature to the southeastern tribes. This is the rotary tool that I use when I'm doing my gorgets. And when I'm doing shell carving and different materials with bone, uh, you can kind of see here, this is a dental burr. This is what is used when they're carving out um, cavities and uh, cleaning your teeth. Next is the Cosmic Warrior, one of my favorite design pieces. Combining shell carvings, deer antler, fobs, trade cloth, and the tattoo patterns and war paint of the ancient Southeastern warriors. This is the newest interpretation of the Cosmic Warrior. This is Tushka 8, Fet. It's for Boba Fett. It has the word Tushka in the Star Wars language of Awush. It also has a copper mohawk and a shell um, top knot. It also has action features. I am so proud to be a part of this Chickasaw Renaissance. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my studio space and getting to see how a piece comes together from concept to final design. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Stay safe, which a piece of let show.